3, and 4. That's 896 in the red hymnal. Please stand. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsorial psalm is number 50 in your blue gather. The queen stands at your right hand, number five zero. The Queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The Queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. Listen, O oh daughter, give you to my words, forget your and your father's house so will the king desire your beauty he is your lord pay homage to him the queen stands at your right hand and joy they pass within the palace of the king he is our god pay homage to him the queen stands at your right hand A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, 
Christ has been raised from the dead, and the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ, the first fruits. Then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Mary is taken up to heaven, a chorus of angels exalts. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. In the year eight, er, 1950, the Pope decided to proclaim as an official dogma of the Church the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, body and soul, into heaven. Now this was something that the Church had always believed, but had never like formally proclaimed, had never formally defined. But in 1950, the world had just witnessed two enormous world wars, had just witnessed the Bolshevik re Revolution in the Soviet Union, and currently at that time going on over in India was mob wars that was wiping out millions of people. And 
with the pleading of the bishops around the world, the Pope realized that there needed to be some kind of answer to this complete disregard for human dignity, for human life. And so the Pope responded by proclaiming the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, body and soul, into heaven. And this, this declaration was to show and to remind the world of the dignity of the human person, of the dignity of the human body. Mary, the mother of God, the temple, the temple of the Lord, who held Christ in her womb, was, was so treasured by the Lord that he didn't allow her to ever be corrupted after death. He brought her directly into heaven, and just as he saved her at her conception in the Immaculate Conception, just as she was conceived and saved from sin at that time, so he also saved her immediately at her moment of death or falling asleep. That hasn't been... Uh, we don't know if she actually died or just fell asleep and was brought to heaven directly. But the Lord still saved her from any, any corruption of death, saved her body from that. And this was just... This was because of the, of the dignity in a particular way, way of Mary's body that had never sinned, of Mary's body that had brought the Savior into the world. And the Lord and the Pope at this time wanted to teach the world that the human is, is special, the human is made in the image of God, is something that must be protected, something that must be reverenced. And in a particular way, for all of us who are baptized, we carry the, the Trinity. We've become a temple of the Lord. We have the Trinity living within us. And in much the same way as you would respect any church that you enter, you're also called not, to, not just to respect your own body as containing the Lord, but every other person's body as if they're baptized containing the Lord, and even if they're not baptized, as still made in the image and likeness of God. We see also in the Gospel today the respect that John the Baptist, before he's even born, shows to the unborn infant of Christ this great respect that even in that moment he, he leaps for joy when he encounters, encounters the unborn Christ. And there's this great, this great reverence to the Lord, this great reverence to the human person. And this is something that I think in our culture in a particular way we've really lost. And we need to bring back, bring back this respect for the human, bring back this understanding of the human dignity, understanding that each person is made and should be protected and should be treasured. And so, yeah, as we come before the Lord here, we can think and we can ask the Lord, what's one way, one small way in our life that we can do something to, to promote and to reverence the dignity of each person in our life, the dignity of each person that we, we meet, whether, whether we know them or not. Let us stand and proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one.
the good in the life of the world to come. Trusting in our Heavenly Father's goodness and mercy, we bring to Him our needs and our petitions. For the Church, that we may put into practice the words of the Magnificat, feeding the hungry, lifting up the lowly, and showering mercy on all God's children, we pray. That inspired by the Queen of Peace, we may work together to bring peace to peoples at war, regions of conflict, and neighborhoods beset by violence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For expectant mothers and mothers of babies and young ones, that our Blessed Mother may watch over them and their children, we pray. Lord, hear that we may share Mary's enthusiasm in bringing the Christ within us to others, from those in need of our assistance to those who wish to share their joy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that we may hear the word of God, take it to heart, and reflect it in what we do for others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions in our parish, for those who are sick or homebound, especially Susan Hartley, Joan Carlson, and Marty Cook. For those who have died, and for Evelyn Jankowski, for whom this Holy Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God ever faithful, you looked with favor on your servant Mary and brought her to heaven to be with you forever. Look with favor on us as we strive to serve you and bring us home to you when our time on earth is over. Grant this and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in singing number 564 in your blue gather. Hail Mary, gentlewoman, number 564. Blessed be with peaceful 
spirits, blessed they with gentle hearts, gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother. Teach us wisdom, teach us love. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts, aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your Church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be. Our communion hymn is number 128 in your blue gather. Holy is your name, number 128.
I proclaim the power of God. You do marvels for your servants, though you scatter the proud hearted and destroy the might of princes. And holy is your name through all generations. Everlasting is your mercy to the people you have chosen, and holy is your name. To the hungry you give food, send the rich away empty. In your mercy you are mindful of the people you have chosen, and holy is your name through all generations. Everlasting is your mercy to the people you have chosen, and holy In your love you now fulfill what you promised to your people. I will praise you, Lord, my Savior. Everlasting is your mercy, and holy is your name. Through all generations, everlasting. people you have chosen, and holy is your
Now we're going to move into adoration as we always do on Thursday. So we'll begin adoration, we'll have our closing prayer, and then after the closing prayer we'll all kneel for the recessional song, and that'll be the end of Mass. Please kneel.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the recessional hymn. Our closing hymn is number 883 in your red hymnal. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above. Number 883. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above. Oh, Maria. Hail, Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph for us, cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, salve, salve, salve. The cause of joy to all below, O Maria, the spring through which all graces flow, O Maria, angels all your praises bring, earth and heaven with us sing, all creation echoing, salve, salve, salve Regina. O oh, gentle, loving, holy one, O oh, Maria, the God of light, Become your son, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Have done.